It's our big story at six. A boarding school seriously damaged after a five alarm fire. Flames broke out early this morning at the St. Lawrence Seminary in Mount Calvary. Tonight, the building is a total loss, and the community says they lost a big part of themselves. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is just back from Mount Calvary, and she joins us live at six with more. Raquel? The call came in around 5.30 this morning that part of the seminary was in flames. Hours later, with response from more than 40 fire departments, that blaze still not under control. Christian Tanguin watches as firefighters try to douse the flames. Oh, I feel really sad. I was crying inside. Like, I was in the, I was in the chapel earlier. I was praying. This is what's left of St. Joseph Hall, a building built in 1874, the fire destroying band and choir rooms. Fire departments forced to tear it down to get the fire put out. We needed to get at the fire, so we, brought the, we took the building down. Fire crews spent hours fighting the blaze, having to haul water from the bottom of the hill to the top where the seminary is. The hydrant system was capped out, so we had to have water trucked in. That adding time to how fast crews put out the flames. They had to cart in water from surrounding lakes. The building is a total loss, but fire crews are trying to preserve the statue of St. Joseph. We'll do whatever we can. At this point, it is bolted down, and we really don't know how we're going to get it off. School leaders are trying to make the best of a difficult situation. Very happy that everybody is safe, and uh, we can always rebuild. But for students like Tangoin, it's tough to see his beloved music department reduced to nothing but ashes. It's just terrible how I see this, like, just destroyed everything. No one was hurt, and fire crews still don't know what caused the fire. The seminary says they will hold a meeting this week to decide where to host music practice. Raquel Lamel, NBC 26.